Okay, so it's uh, June 11th, 2015. It is currently 11.45 a.m. Um, I just left my coucher first place from Kennet. Uh, I left Lucy's place in the morning at about 9. And now I'm taking a break at the uh, local Little. Just bought some groceries from over there. And I'm about, I have to do about 95 kilometers today. And so I'm about 30, 35 kilometers in, making good progress. Um, I didn't write anything for my blog um, these past two days because uh, my my uh, tablet actually broke. So uh, I'm just gonna record this as a video blog um, so I don't forget what happened. Great. So um, after I left Montpellier, I went to uh, Lucy's place in Canet, uh, which is west of Montpellier, about 40 kilometers. Um, so I arrived there, and Lucy's really nice. She uh, She's a retired nurse and she's living with her uh, uh, mother who has Alzheimer's disease right now and she's just caring for her. Um, and the first night we went to uh, Gannett, which is kind of like, um, it's kind of like a summer bar-ish um, thing in, outside and it's by a river, it's beautiful. We just chilled out there and we, we spent the whole night like talking. Um, and then the second day, Luz took me to uh, Saint Guillaume uh, à la Desert um, is this uh, monastery, an old medieval monastery um, endowed by uh, uh, Saint Guillaume, which which was uh, I think a duke or something of France. Anyways, it's beautiful there. And originally she was also going to take me to a lake, but it was so beautiful there I decided to stay stick around and do some climbing. So I climbed a 10-kilometer route in my sandals. Uh, the mountain is called Verdun. And it's just beautiful up there. Took some really awesome pictures. Um, then we, when I came back at night, uh, Luz uh, and two of her friends, um, we we hang, hung out with Luz and two of her friends. Uh, one friend is named Irene. She's uh, German, Swiss German, but she's like a translator and she has her own English class. And her student, uh, her name is Dee, and she's a retired uh, Irish woman, but she lives in France now. And so we switched between English, French, um, for the whole conversation, and we had a great time there. Um, and then I just came, we came back home around 10, 11, and then, so that's when I started doing some research about my next tablet, because I really need this tablet. This, this phone is, it's, there's a bunch of problems with this phone, and I can't use it to write anything, like, really, like, other than SMS, so I need a tablet to keep track of my daily journey and to reflect. So um, I think when I get to Lazignan Corbier today, I'm gonna take a look at LeBlanc coins, see if I can get a new tablet. Um, in the meantime, I think I'm gonna stop by Bezier next. Probably gonna um, going to check out the town because I think I have lots of time. And uh, a new thing I've started doing today is instead of following the bike trails, I've actually started using Google Maps with the car option, and that's worked out way better. Like, I'm going down flat roads. Like, this is just, just the road I came through. I don't know, can't really see it, but it's it's completely paved in, and there's no, I, have, I don't have to backtrack. It's like Google Maps been just giving me headaches right after Marseille. Uh, what else? Yeah, so I'm taking, so this is my lunch. It's a can of tuna that I got. I got some bread that Luz gave me and um, some tomatoes. Breakfast of champions. Well, now it's going to be brunch. And uh, oh, the other thing is that Luz is actually going to come to Toronto because uh, a family member of hers is getting married sometime in July. So I said, of course, she can stay with me. And uh, I think she's going to come somewhere in the middle of July. So that's going to be really cool. Um, yeah, so I had a really great experience in. Um, in Canet and um, yeah and peace from the road